Hello my dear students, this is your guide and mentor for organic chemistry. Uh, this is Memona Bombewala from BCC Online GFAT Coaching. We have dealt in, fuel, in, in the past with you know various videos on furan wherein we talked about whether it is a base, what is about the electrophilic aromatic substitutions and the different types of reactions of electrophilic aromatic substitution. Now we are going to talk about in this video the methods of preparation of fuel. The methods of preparation of fuel. Now what are we going to do, do here? We are going to talk about the two methods of preparation of furan. One from mucic acid and the other from furfural. From one from mucic acid and the other from furfural. Now let us see. The very interesting, easy to understand method of preparation from mucic acid. Now what do you mean by mucic acid? Mucic acid is nothing but, it is 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, tetra hydroxy 1, 6 hexa hexena dioic acid if you can read this entire structure and if you can understand then nothing is difficult for you now let me take let, let me tell you how to write the structure of mucic acid it is hexena 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexena di do oic acid at which position one position and at two position one position and at one at one position and at six position. Correct? Then you have what? Two per hydroxy, three per hydroxy, four per hydroxy, or five per two, three, four, five tetra hydroxy. Correct? One, one, six hexane, chachai kar, di, do, oic acid. Now let me tell you an easy way to write this structure. Okay? See, this is my one. This is my 2, this is my 3, this is my 4, this is my 5, this is my 6. Right? I am writing this structure so that I can make you understand that we are going to prepare furan. Right? Now see how do I write my structure. This is my carboxylic acid. This is my carboxylic acid. Okay? Cedar will bond OH, OH, cedar will bond OH. Now two hydroxy groups are outside and I write two hydroxy groups inside. Right? 2, this is nothing but 2, 3, 4, 5, tetrahydroxy. Remaining valencies I fulfill with hydrogens. So I have written nothing but the structure of mucic acid. Now what happens here? This mucic acid, acid undergoes a reaction called as dehydration. See, there is loss of how many molecules of water? There is loss of 3 molecules of water. See how? See, there is loss of one molecule of HOH, there will be formation of a double bond here. There will be loss of another molecule of HOH, there will be formation of a double bond here. And there will be one more molecule loss of HOH and there will be formation of COC. Now see what happens. See, this is OCC. Double bond is created and I have nothing but a CH, CH, CH and CH and that is left. Now see what happens. Here there is loss of water. I get a COC. I get a, there is a loss of this carbon water molecule. I get a double bond. This hydrogen remains as it is. This hydrogen remains as it is. And I get a double bond because of another loss of water molecule. And what else remains is, there is again loss of nothing but a carbon dioxide. There is a loss of carbon dioxide and what is what will remain now is see this this carbon dioxide is lost so this H will go and attach on this carbon so this is H here and and finally you get a C double bond OOH so there is loss of three molecules of water and there is loss of one molecule of carbon dioxide this is what is lost right this is what is lost and you get nothing but furoic acid this is furan along with the carboxylic acid. So this is called as a furoic acid. This again by loss of carbon dioxide will give you nothing but furan is formed. So this is how
how from mutic acid furan is formed please take a screenshot of the reaction and please make these circles so that you understand from where what is lost otherwise it will be very easy i can could have written the reaction directly also so mutic acid loss of three molecules of water and one molecule of carbon dioxide gives you furan but how it happened so that we understand that there is loss of three molecules of water and one molecule of carbon dioxide and then the next step another molecule of this carbon dioxide is lost and what remains is a furan this is the first method of preparation now the second method of preparation which is much more easier than the first method is from furfural now what is this furfural furfural matlab furon aur furon ke upar ek al al is nothing but aldehyde al is nothing but aldehyde now what is this furfural have a look this is my furan and this is cho this is fur fural al because there is an aldehyde functionality at question number 2 ठीक है भाई अब क्या कर रहे हैं अंडर गो ऑक्सीडेशन यूज K2Cr2O7 एज एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट यू नो दैट वेरी वेल दैट अल्डिहाइड ऑन ऑक्सीडेशन कन्वर्ट्स इनटू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सो यू गेट नथिंग बट अ फ्यूरोइक एसिड वंस यू गेट अ फ्यूरोइक एसिड इट विल अंडरगो डी कार्बन यू नो डी कार्बोनेशन दैट इज लॉस ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड व्हाट रिमेंस इज अ फ्यूरल so these are two methods of preparation one from furfural and the other from mutic acid that you have seen for furan in our coming videos we are going to talk about the reactions the methods of preparations and the similarities of thiophene with pyrrole and furan keep watching don't forget to subscribe this channel do share it with your friends thank you